Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be converting this Frogger board to be able to save high scores and save initials in the high score table. Um, the first step to this modification is to clear the holes here so that I can fit a 24 pin socket. That's the socket where the NV RAM is going to go which allows you to save the scores. Um, in addition we need to burn a new set of ROMs. Now this original set has three ROMs and the high score save version has four ROMs so I've put an additional socket there already. And the next thing I've got to do is take this 24 pin socket and remove pins 18, 20 and 21. That's now going to be soldered into this one. And the next stage is to take a second socket and bend out pins 18, 20 and 21 and then we basically place it into this socket. Okay, now we're going to solder some jumper wires onto these. Um, pins 18 and 20, if I remember right, go to IC 18.7, and pin 21 goes to 14.7. So I'm just going to wire those up now. Okay, so the jump, the jumper wires have been added, and the MV RAM has been added, which is a 2K by 8. Uh, in this case, it's an STM48Z02. And uh, the last job now is to burn the ROMs. And here we are programming the ROMs for this modification. And uh, now the ROM images were made by a guy called JRock, so if you want to find those, just search for JRock. It's fairly easy to find. And there we go, there's the four newly burnt ROMs installed. Just need to reassemble the board, which basically means putting this uh, soundboard back on top and putting the spaces on. Uh, and then we can give it a test. And the game is booting up successfully, which is obviously a good start. So all that's left to do is test the high score safe feature by playing and getting a high score. Let's go! Well, that was hardly a very high score. Um, probably because it's not very easy to play sideways, or at least that's my excuse anyway. Um, but as you can see, we can now enter initials, which the original ROMs didn't allow you to do. So there we go, there's my initials. And we move across to end and press up, and that should save. Now we need to cycle the power and see if that is retained. Okay, so let's repower up. That did not work, it did not save the scores, so let's have an investigation and see why. Okay, so we need to test to see if the NVRAM is actually working or not. So what we're going to do is, I've just loaded some data into the buffer. We're going to program that data into the device. Okay. And we're going to verify it against the buffer. So the contents of the RAM matches the buffer. That's good. Now what we do is take the device out of the programmer. Give it a few seconds, Just make sure it's definitely running on battery, and then we'll put it back in, and we will re-verify the contents. And it's verified OK. And we'll just do one file check, it's going to read it. Nice. Okay, so yeah, it's actually storing the data in the buffer. This is kind of indicating that it's probably the board isn't actually writing to the RAM for some reason, so I need to see what's gone wrong there. Well, it appears I might have overlooked something quite simple. Um, the power supply, as you can see, is putting out 4.95 volts, which would normally be fine. Um, however, after the jammer adapter, it goes into this Konami adapter, into this board, and then the top board delivers power via this ribbon cable to the bottom board. Um, now there's going to be a lot of voltage drop and loss in those cables, and what happens is, we end up with 4.4 volts on the board. Now, these MV RAMs go into right protect mode at 4.75 volts, so anything below that and the RAM cannot be written to, hence why I'm having a problem. So if I turn up the voltage, I'm expecting it should actually start working again, so I'm going to give that a try. Okay, so here's another attempt at saving a high score. And so that score there in the high score table. I'm going to power off. Just leave it for a few seconds. There we go, power on. And 
the score has saved successfully. So the lesson to be learned there is check the simpler things first before looking for other faults. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to JROC for providing this high score save modification. It's actually very good and I've done it to one of my boards as well. Thanks for watching.